Tens of thousands of satellites and spacecraft are now orbiting some 400 kilometers above Earth's surface. Among them is a large manned spacecraft that might catch your eye. It's the Tiangong Chang'e Space Station. The Tiangong orbits the Earth at a speed of about 7.8 kilometers per second. It takes about 90 minutes to complete one full orbit. Taconauts can even see 16 sunrises a day from the station. This brand new China National Space Laboratory mainly consists of the Tianhe Core Module, Wentian and Mengtian Lab Modules, which together form the iconic T-shaped structure. Together with the Shenzhou manned spacecraft and Tianzhou cargo ship, the whole space station weighs almost 100 tons. So how was this state-of-the-art space station put together? Let's check it out. Starting with the launch of the Tianhe Core Module in April 2021, China has planned 11 missions to complete the construction of the space station, including three major modules, four Shenzhou spacecrafts, and four Tianzhou cargo ships. So at this site, and having floated through space for so long, how is the Tiangong maintaining power? The answer to that comes down to these two pairs of flexible solar arrays, which generate 80% of the entire space station's electricity. They have special huge driving devices, wrist-like bearing units, to help rotate these two solar arrays 360 degrees to face the sunlight in unblocked positions. Each pair has a total length of around 55 meters. Space engineers say these four big solar winds generate nearly a thousand kilowatt hour of electricity per day, which is equivalent to the electricity consumption of an ordinary family for nearly half a year. By the way, the thing crawling outside the Tiangong space station right now is a robotic arm. It has seven adjustable levels just as flexible as a human's arm, now Tekonauts can stand on the robotic arm and move around quickly. This enables them to be a lot more efficient during the installation work or maintenance tasks. Alright, let's take a look inside the space station now. Coming in, you can see how bright and spacious this place is. It's a large space of 110 cubic meters, with so many rooms, so don't get lost. This is the Tianhe Core Module, the main living space for astronauts. There are three different sleeping areas where you can lie down and sleep. Actually, there are another three sleeping areas in Wentian Lab Module, which will support up to six technauts on board. There are over 120 kinds of food here, so Taconauts will have a different menu every day. All right, dinner is over, time for exercise. We have a running machine or a bicycle. The choice is yours. Scientists developed a special recycling system to support life in space. The system can collect moisture, volatilized water, and carbon dioxide released by the Taconauts. Even the urine is processed. All of that is done through subsystems such as electrolytic oxygen production, drinking water collection and treatment, urine treatment, and carbon dioxide and harmful gas removal. Can you imagine? Within just a year, the system has recycled over 2,600 kilograms of water. That's a sufficient amount of water for a person to drink over a span of two years. Now we can't forget our daily necessities, the internet. On China Space Station, Taconauts can now use a mobile app to control the lights. Just like this. And inquire about the storage and supply of the materials. And if you miss your family or friends back on Earth, you can make phone calls, chat through video calls, send and receive emails. 
Now let's take a closer look at the lab modules. The Wenjian lab is mainly for the scientific research of life in space, including the growth and development of different types of plants, animals, and microorganisms. For example, here is a key experimental cabinet called Universal Biological Cultivation Module, where the rice and Arabidopsis are planted. In fact, Chinese taconauts and students on the ground carried out an experiment in which the same seed was planted. The seeds grow under different gravity conditions, enabling them to study the mechanisms of growth. The Mengtian is mainly for the scientific research of microgravity. In addition to the 13 cabinets inside Mengtian, there are also 37 payload positions outside the cabin. There is a special piece of equipment in the Mengtian lab module for releasing micro spacecraft. With the help of astronauts, the payload transfer tool, and the robotic arm, the equipment will eject small satellites weighing about 100 kilograms into orbit, just like a slingshot. So now you've seen everything from the outside to the inside. Nine international experimental projects selected from 17 countries and regions will be sent to the Tiangong later. In the future, overseas friends, astronauts, and scientists are all welcome to work and live in China's space station. The starry sky is vast and bright. Chinese and foreign scientists will join together to explore more possibilities of the vast universe on the big platform known as the Tiangong.